So I'm sitting here with Matt, and I'm on an epic road trip cross country. And uh, I'm asking him, it's too late for me, but because I've already packed. But I would, I'm asking him what what he would take on a, on an epic road trip across country. Uh, I give him five five things he would make sure that he has in his in his car, or his vehicle, or in his pack. So and go go ahead. So the first thing <clears throat> I would have a road atlas because technology fails, and I don't have the entire U.S. highway system uh, memorized, and I would like to be able to get home if technology failed. So. Uh, a road atlas. I memorized all roads across country before. You're a better man than me. Yeah. You are a better <laughs> man than me. So <clears throat> definitely a road atlas, number one. Number two, <clears throat> some kind of means of self-defense. So whether that's you know firearms, a pistol, rifle, whatever the case might be. But you just got to plan accordingly with uh, some states have certain regulations on magazine capacity and stuff like that. And you definitely don't want to find yourself in a bind. So I'll do my research. So the maps, uh, the self-defense stuff, definitely bring uh, plenty of food. Probably lightweight food with the thought of worst case scenario, I might walk home. How much and food so, would, you, would you pack? Uh, well, it but depends you on the distance. You carry so much on your back yep. if, if you've got the chariot. It, it depends yeah. uh, on, uh, probably I'm gonna carry uh, freeze dried stuff because yep. uh, you know it's lightweight. But at some point, I may be having to harvest food and that's where my firearm for self-defense comes sure. in. So at least I can do that. Um, but some kind of food, definitely a water filtration system because okay. water's heavy and you're not gonna carry a ton of that, but yep. being able to purify it on the on the go, uh, I guess would be number four. And uh, number five, uh, maybe, uh, oh, I'll tell you what, uh, as part of my go bag, if my thought was I might have to get home, I would make sure that I brought killer footwear, good socks, uh, and you're on a trip anyways, you're gonna have clothes packed, but I would probably focus a little bit more heavy on stuff I was just gonna stay in the truck, on socks, underwear, and uh, some kind of anti-chafing, uh, something like that, and, uh, and a med kit. That may be more than five. That's, that's six. That cheated. med kit is really, really <laughs> important. I'll say uh, those socks and that chafing powder and underwear are part of that med kit because if you're walking right. 500 I'll miles, you you're going to need that. Uh, so <laughs> good medical and trauma kit. But, you know, we're more likely, the most likely emergency, especially on a road trip we're going to see, is probably a bad crash somewhere. Yeah. And so I like having like multiple tourniquets, uh, compressed gauze uh, bandages, stuff to be able to help somebody. I mean, I can't imagine even uh, like I carry a pediatric tourniquet. I can't mm -hmm. imagine coming up on a wreck and not being able to help a kid with an arterial bleed. So those would be the top priorities for me. Um, and anything else I needed, uh, I would scavenge on the way back if I had to. Okay. So. All right, cool. Well, good deal. Thanks, man. Yeah, sure. That's cool.